Putin is like Count Dracula. Ukrainian intelligence revealed important facts about his bunkers. Russian President Vladimir Putin has more than one bunker, hence his nickname. Representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Andrei Yusov said this during the telethon. Putin's bunkers. Yes, information about this is known and is constantly updated, he noted. At the same time, he refused to name the number of bunkers used by the Russian president. We will not disclose now, but it is clear that one of the call signs of the Russian president is bunkerny. That is, he loves his business, like Count Dracula hides in these deep dungeons, Yusuf said. Answering the question whether he lets his doubles into these bunkers, the main intelligence directorate representative noted that this does not happen. No, he releases his doubles on other missions where it is not so safe, Yusuf said. Recall, in 2023, the Business Insider published information about Vladimir Putin's bunker near Gelenzik in the Krasnodar territory. It is a billion-dollar, 190,000-square-foot complex perched on a cliff overlooking the Black Sea. The publication noted that Despite all this royal luxury and castle defense, the palace builders seemed to have neglected one important detail. They failed to hide plans showing two complex tunnels running underneath the palace complex, plans that any competent state security apparatus would fight tooth and nail to maintain. They were posted publicly on the Runet, Metro style, a Russian contractor that is now defunct, posted plans on its website in the early 2010s. They could be viewed online back in 2016. The underground complex under Putin's palace consists of two separate tunnels connected by elevator that descends 50 meters underground. Architectural plans show that the thick concrete tunnels are provided with enough fresh water, ventilation and extensive cables to support VIP residents for days or weeks. Journalists also suggested that the tunnels could withstand bombs and chemical attacks. In particular, the drawings show six separate ventilation shafts for air supply. There is a road next to the tunnel complex that could presumably be used to transport supplies. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky visited Kharkiv and visited the publishing house that was hit by a missile attack by the Russian army on May 23rd. Zelensky said that as a result of the incident, the industrial complex was destroyed and tens of thousands of books were burned. Recalling that seven people died and 21 people were injured, the president said that Russia is waging a war against humanity. Russia's terrorism must never go unanswered. 50,000 books were burned as a result of the attack on Kharkiv. It shows that Russia is waging a war against humanity and aspects of normal life. Russian terrorists kill children and adults, destroy towns and villages, and wreak havoc in places where normal life once existed. Russian terrorism must be defeated. All we need for this is the determination of Western leaders, sufficient air defense systems to protect Ukrainian cities, and all our long-range strike systems, says Zelensky. С этой ситуации приблизительно 40 процентов минимум совокупная мощность всех украинских предприятий падает. Это самые мощные в Украине предприятия. Поэтому учебники, литература и так далее сегодня просто это национальная проблема становится. Мы не сможем их подпечатать в этом году 100 процентов срок, если мы быстро не восстановим.